Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past, and more. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Johannes Johnstonus, born in 1603 and died in 1675, was scientists who specialized in flora, fauna, medicine, and some additional topics. He does not sound nor is he portrayed like some fantasy author of his generation. Among bears, squirrels, lions, cows, elks, rhinos, and other common animals, Mr. Johnstonus decided to present at least six different types of unicorns among other strange creatures. It's very easy to say that the author was just imagining things and did not really mean that they were real. In his book he did not distinguish these creatures in any way, shape or form. He simply included them along with other regular animals. There are hundreds if not thousands of anomalies indicating genetic experiments and cataclysms or resets within the past several centuries. I believe this Mr. Johnstonus was depicting things just as he saw. You can find his book at the link in the description box below. Legends describe the Menahun as a race of people who were only three feet tall. They are said to have lived in Hawaii before settlers arrived from Polynesia many centuries ago. When new settlers arrived, they went into hiding, only coming out at night. They possessed great skills of craftsmanship and built temples, fishbins, roads, canoes, and houses. Some of these structures that Hawaiian folklore attributed to the Menahun still exist, which are unusual, as they are made with stones cut and placed in a way unlike anything else built in ancient Hawaii. There are numerous references to Menahun listed in the Hawaiian census of 1820, conducted in Kaiai's Winneha Valley of 2,000 people, of which 65 were Menahun. There are still reports and sightings of Menahun today in the forests and mountains. What do you think? Vedic Science of Teleportation The Vedic science of teleportation works on the premise that matter and energy are interconvertible. Just as the pattern of sound waves in a telephone is carried by an electric current from the source to the destination, where it is reconverted to sound, an object to be teleported is simply dissolved into energy at the source and transported through space to be reassembled at its destination. Although we say simply dissolved, the complexity of the process and the mastery of mind over matter required here is unimaginable. Teleportation and other siddhas, or spiritual powers, are gained only by a lifetime, or lifetimes, of arduous spiritual discipline, and the grace of the divine. You decide. History of the World is a large canvas book compiled by Richard Overy, which gives an overview of almost all regions of the world. The book has a cornucopia of maps on each and every page, bringing the events alive visually. It's really a delight. As we know now, we can't really rely on the authenticity of anything anymore and must be most circumspect as to what we accept or don't. Although his stories are all about conquests regarding Mongols, this book is forced to concede that Mongols were fundamentally shamans, but did not persecute other religions as they assimilated Islam, Buddhism, Christianity to become multicultural. They were sophisticated statesmen. 
Their courts became magnets for culture seekers, as the Mongols left a legacy of splendor. High praise, isn't it? And this dovetails neatly into the Tartarian architecture that befuddles us with their magnificence. What do you think? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. This is the Lingaraja Temple, in Bhubaneswar, Odisha, Eastern India. Linga means phallus, and Raja means king. The temple is 180 feet tall, and does resemble the male organ. The complex has many such towers, and each of them has that ever so subtle curvature towards the top, constructed out of stone blocks stacked vertically. Each stone block need to be precision cut in order to effectuate that slight curvature. Is it possible without computer-aided design? A precise formula for the curvature. An algorithm put into a computer program. They replicated the same template of the structure within the structure itself. A recursion. Look closely to see the replicas on the wall. And the griffins. They are everywhere. Along the wall, at various spots, large griffins jut out, giving away its Tartarian origins. This is an exquisitely sophisticated design maybe thousands of years old by the look of it. What do you think? We are now living in a time where people who called you a conspiracy theorist are realizing they were completely brainwashed. Many people are not yet ready to be unplugged because their whole life, their values, their character, and their security has been built around Matrix. They want your attention focused on wrong things which is a form of mind control. The work, the obsession with time, the arbitrary rules, all of those, were designed to keep the illusion running. People have been conditioned to think that those who believe the contrary are deluded. Some of the stuff that we know could drive the person to insanity or suicide, and we don't want that. Go easy on them. Go easy on yourself. One step at a time, my friends. Truth has a vibration which resonates even with the most mind-controlled, and then there is a God factor that has ability to penetrate the illusions of this world that hangs over it like a shroud. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.